Welcome to Successful Meetings in English. In this lesson, we will look at how to disagree with other participants in a meeting. Disagreeing is hard in any language, but disagreeing nicely in your second language is extremely difficult. We hope to help you tackle this challenging task. Disagreeing means other people have different opinions from you. This can put you into a difficult situation. And at these times, it's good if you can be a polite and attentive listener. People are not likely to change their opinions, even after hearing yours. And it's important to bear in mind that most people think that their own ideas are the most important ones in the world. Don't be too direct by saying things like, no, no, I don't agree, or that plan is not a very good one. Instead, try a three-step approach. Summarise the other person's ideas, list their good points, and then put forward your own disagreement. Step one is to summarise the other person's ideas so that you can show that you understand what they're talking about. If you don't understand completely, this will give them a chance to make their point clearer. Here are some examples. Your point is that we need to cut down the personnel costs. To sum up, you want to delay the project. Phrases such as, I understand. Or I hear are good ones to remember. For instance, I understand you want to cut down the personnel costs. I hear you want to delay the project. Step two is to comment on the good points that the other participants have said. This will show that you are listening carefully and will also encourage them to listen to your ideas as well. When we disagree, we tend to forget to value other people's ideas. And we all think our own ideas are the best ones in the world. But it is important to try and acknowledge what other people have said. Here are some ways to acknowledge good points. I can see the advantage of your idea. Your suggestion is a very effective solution. Your ideas are great. You made some very good points. After summarising and acknowledging the good points of what another participant has said, you next need to move on to the third step, which is to explain why you disagree with them. This will involve a signal such as but, or however, or nevertheless. Here are some examples. I hear your point. However, we should stick to our original plan. To sum up, you think purchasing the material is a good idea, but not from streamlining? You can try to soften your language. There are a couple of ways you can do this. One is with modal verbs such as could or would or may or might. A second way is with adverbs such as maybe, possibly, those kind of adverbs. They make your language sound less direct. Here are some examples. We might be able to adopt your suggestion in the future. We probably cannot afford to do it right now. The cost is possibly too expensive. In some situations, fighting mode might help, but it's not usually as effective as being polite, calm and cooperative. When you disagree, the ultimate goal is not to win the argument, but the ultimate goal is to be listened to. Also, fighting mode does not help a long-lasting relationship. When people disagree, you should take as much time as you can to be as polite as possible. So in this way, you can find common ground. It's hard to pack all three steps into one go. You wouldn't come up with one sentence that summarises, gives the good points and then disagrees. It will probably happen in a conversation with a meeting participant. Here is an example of such a conversation. See if you can see the three steps. To sum up, I understand that you think we should close down the factory in Oklahoma. Yes, that's right. Oh, OK, you're making a good point about the high running costs in Oklahoma. Yeah, that's why we're losing money and we're in the red. I know it's a serious problem. However, right now, rather than closing down the factory, we should perhaps find ways to increase productivity there. In this lesson, we have learned about a three-step way in which you can disagree in a meeting, which is summarise, acknowledge, and then disagree. As usual, there is a checklist. Good luck!